Have your kids ever walked in on you? <gasps> no, it's my worst nightmare. I feel like that's therapy for 20 years, no? no. I can't believe it. We just crying. ruined our daughter. We ruined her. Yeah. And Honor was like, oh! <laughs> and so now she knocks. This is Jessica Alba and... Hi, I'm Cash. No, you sit up. You have to have more energy. Oh. Hi, I'm Cash. Wait, hi everyone. This is Jessica Alba and... Cash. Wait. Hello, I'm Cash. I'm Wait, do it again. Do it again. Name. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously, this guy's with me. Your name. I'm Cash. You're the worst. This is a very special Getting Honest Parenting Edition with two of our favorite people. We love them so much. They are homies, they are ride or dies. We've been friends with them for a very long time. Day they are one. parents, Rachel, Zoe, and Roger. Hi. You guys are parents of two boys. I don't know if people know this, but you guys were together for what, 18 years? 18 before, years. Before yep. you became parents. Yep. Like you guys really liked each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, or, or I look yeah. at it like I really didn't know if I wanted her to be the mother of my Us. children. We all know that you won the lottery, Raj, oh. with Rachel. <laughs> Mm. What was the biggest change from your life as a couple pre-kids to post-kids? You know, like many career women, they say, oh, next year I'm gonna have a baby. Oh, next year I'm totally gonna have a baby. Next year I'm totally <laughs> gonna have a baby. I'm so excited. He was an investment banker. I was in fashion. It was like, you know, I was on a plane all the time. We were enough for each other. All of a sudden our life went from every free minute that either of us had went to like us and us time to every free minute going to children. The entire world that we were living became about Sky. I kind of felt like after a couple of months because you have one and Skylar thankfully was just sort of very easy I guess. He just kind of became like an accessory and we kind of just, just kind of rolled, just with, rolled him. with him. <laughs> Rachel do you like being pregnant? I loved it. I loved it. it. I wish I was right now. I remember you with like platforms. She went into the hospital to give birth with six inch heels. I did. Thigh high boots. Thigh high boots. <laughs> but what happened was like, I just became so like, honestly, like that cliche, like so madly in love with him. The second I saw him that I was like, everything else just went to like, done. I don't care. Including your husband. Including my, <laughs> You have a, a 10 year old and a seven year old. Do you guys have every meal together? When do you guys wake up? Our basic morning is, I usually get up a little bit earlier than Rachel, and Rachel what? turns to me. She, yeah, and Rachel turns to me and she's like, I get up before you and get Starbucks. <laughs> I actually told him this morning, it might be his greatest asset is his ability to open his eyes and like get in a car and drive to Starbucks at like six. Do you think that I should have a complex because Rachel says the greatest thing about me is that I get <laughs> Starbucks. But I will say this, you guys, the one meal we do always have together. We always have dinner together with a few exceptions, of course. And then we try and you like reunite. We usually reunite after Our children need special care. I don't know if your children are able to go to sleep by themselves. If it's late, we make them go to bed by themselves. So even if we do make them go to bed by themselves without the cuddles and stuff, Haven will still come out every 20 minutes. And she's like, well, I was just, I heard something. And then she'll come and we're like, go upstairs right now. 20 minutes later, she'll come down. I had a terrible dream. You weren't sleeping. There's no way you were sleeping. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm thirsty. I mean, it's like a whole every night. Yeah, that's Haven. endless. We have that. Haven. Right now, I'm still putting them to bed, even though I know it's seven and 10, I shouldn't be doing that. But like, I know this is ending soon. I have a few more years and then they're just gonna be like, mom, close the door, mom, you know. You have like eight summers left with Skylar yes. before he, oh. you know, out of yes. the house. And just like when you yes. reduce it to, you know, that, yeah, it's just eight like, summers. Oh, yeah. with Honor, it's like six. Oh. By the way, Honor still likes to be cuddled and she wants her like head rub. And what we've turned our cuddle time where I used to like sing them nursery rhymes. She like holds you now. Yeah, she basically holds me. 
that's the time where we get to kind of unpack her day and her emotions and the drama mm. that is happening and the stuff that she's been holding on inside because the guard is down and they feel more safe to kind of open up. Cash, is she as open with you about these things as she is with Jess? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, great. I have a great relationship with both of them when it comes to boys and stuff. And I yeah. love giving her like advice that just puts boys in check. So like if a guy like makes fun or like, I can't believe you're changing clothes for PE. Like in sixth grade, a boy was doing that to her and she came home and she was kind of like, I'm not changing clothes anymore. They're making fun of me for doing it. And I was like, next time a boy does that, just be like, oh my God, that's so cute that you pay attention to what I'm wearing. Yes. So how do you guys find time to, you know, for romance? Hotels are a good thing. He loves to do it 24 hours away. Like a, mm -hmm. you know, like loves, a staycation. Yes, there is almost not a day that passes. He will still like randomly find the greatest time to be like, you look so hot, babe. I'm just like sitting there, like taking my makeup off, being like, you're getting older by the second. And he'll be like, you're so beautiful. And, and you know, we just celebrated my parents' 55th. And I will say that there's almost not a day where my dad doesn't say it to my mother. And it's, it's like, you never get sick of hearing that because you know, just as we get older, like, it's just hard. Do you return the compliments? I, no I, chance. It's just not in my nature to be like, babe, you look so hot. Have your kids ever walked in on you? <gasps> No, it's my worst nightmare. I feel like that's therapy for 20 years, no? No. It happened? Oh. Our first time. Oh, it was the worst. How do you deal with that? We like spent five minutes in our bedroom laughing and like- I started I, crying. I, I can't believe it. We just crying. ruined our daughter. We ruined her. Yeah. And then- We called his sister, because that's the phone call that you make. It was like, how do we handle this? Because Paula is like so good at like helping us through challenges. Like, I just feel like she just has such a kind, gentle soul. She'd be able Even to like- Even she had no advice for us. So <laughs> she was like, I started what? Laughing. And She's so laughing. I went downstairs. I was like, we just have to own this one. Like, you can't like pretend yeah. it didn't Actually, happen. Actually, I think by the time we called so, Koa, Haven had already texted her. And she <laughs> really? <laughs> She went around. right in and told, yeah, and told everybody. And she's like, I don't know what was happening, but I just walked in on mommy and daddy. Yeah, she da, 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 da. knew, she was. And so I went she downstairs called an emergency and I said, meeting. Haven, bet that's the last time you walk into our room without knocking. And Honor was like, oh! <laughs> and so now she knocks. It was <gasps> like she learned her lesson. I 100% I cried. I think that would have been It was me. a situation. Oh, well, I would have gotten my ass kicked. Would have been my fault. hundred <laughs> percent. Why did you even want to do this? <laughs> I'm not even attractive. Why would you have done this? Like, what? What are you right. talking about? Glad you guys haven't scarred your kids for life. Not yet. It's like the stars would have to align so perfectly because it's so infrequent that it would oh, be like. shut up. <laughs> so Rachel and Raj have a new podcast. You can make sure you subscribe to it. And where is it available, guys? Apple, iHeartRadio, Radio, Apple, anywhere that you see your so podcast. Like anywhere you can get anywhere. your podcast, iTunes, Spotify, all the places. Yeah. It's called Works For Us. It's basically a podcast where they unpack relationships, all kinds of relationships. And um, we did it this morning. And we did it. And so yeah. please go and check out their new podcast. Thank you. Now that you guys are basically like relationship expert. Self-professed, <laughs> yes. What do you think is the key to a <laughs> functional parenting relationship like what are the key things i would say one of them is some sort of agreement on work some sort of agreement on romance and some sort of agreement on parenting it's almost like it starts one way it evolves you figure out your roles and then i think you choose to own them or you choose to fight them and i think we're actually at a point now where i fully own and accept my roles and i think that i fully own and accept his role, if that makes sense. So what are your roles? Roger is great, and I, I hate to generalize men, but I will for a second. I think that men are really good when given the task and then executing. I think we can't expect or assume that things will be done the exact way that we want them done, we do them. And what I found really helpful, and I've given a lot of advice to my friends going through like, marriage problems and just relationship issues, you have to manage the expectation. What's helped us lately is I give him lists. It's good advice for those at home because what I list. typically will happen is it'll be like 6.45, <laughs> 7.15 and I'll walk in the kitchen and be like, oh, 
blah, 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 and it will be like a long list of things that I have to do. That's exactly what happens over here. He's like, every time I walk in a room, you make me work. So this is what I did. I started to text him a list and say, in the next 48 hours, I would love to have these things done. I would love you to assemble the easy roller. I would love for you to help Skylar set up this thing on his computer. And he'll look at his list. And he came in, he goes, babe, I like this method. Because then you have like a timeline. Like I just need these five things done in the next 48 hours. Well, I think that especially not to generalize, but if we are generalizing, potentially women expect things to happen instantaneously Spontaneously when it comes out of their uh, <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> I have found it one just, of the biggest challenges in COVID is actually we're used to our kids being at school and we work while they're at school. But now right. that everybody's working at home and schooling at home, like all of a sudden they're like, you work so much. It's like, no, you just don't see me working. Mm -hmm. You know, have you guys found that to be challenging? Absolutely. And your t your time just gets picked apart. Yeah. Like every yes. minute that you're not doing what somebody else expects you to be doing, you're wasting time. Everything gets picked apart. And it's like, you're not sending emails at this very, cause I'm thinking like, Sometimes you just want to yep. think. And it's unfair because like her doing TikTok, she gets to say is work. And That's I guess true, it Cash. is, but she tells me that all the time. Like, it's just not I'm true. doing work, it's work right now. And I'm like, no, you're dancing. The, you're having the fun. The fact no, that he's work. trying to say this is, this <laughs> is like so ludicrous. He takes golf lessons. Yes. He belongs to a golf club. What are we talking about And right he plays video game golf, not for one hour, Raj, for a minimum of three hours. I don't even know what she's talking about. I really don't. She's just not telling the truth. Don't believe her. Don't believe her. COVID in this is not easy. Like, it's just not. We're never together 24 seven, under the same roof, the entire family. This isn't how life was intended. I will say this, I've never had more pregnant friends in my entire life. I, li <laughs> I literally awesome. must have 25 people pregnant or having <laughs> just had a baby. I miss my friends so much. Yeah. I miss yeah, friends I do, so, so much. Roger. I miss friends. That's the thing. Oh. I miss like just having dinner, even like a few couples, like having people over, like just the small things. I actually miss the small things and not the big things. I always thought I was really independent, but I think I'm codependent. And like during COVID, I want to be around Cash all the time. Like I could just stare Me at too. him and I just want to be around him and I just want to like do everything with him. I want to do everything with the kids. In her head, she thinks she just wants to sit there and be lovely and stare at you. But in reality, she just wants to sit there and be like, move that over there, carry that over there. Hey girls. <laughs> Can you bring me some water? She just wants a bunch of people to run around and do stuff for her while she sits down and stares at you it's doing stuff. It's so not stuff. true. Okay, so if you're going to take something from COVID and your habits of COVID, what would you like to take with you? I literally don't remember other than like if we're on vacation that I even notice a sunset. It's small things that I never paid attention to that I live for. I think we're gonna have like a roaring 20s kind of period. I think people are going to travel a lot. The airlines and the hotels are gonna do very well for like the next five years plus. So are you teaching your kids about doing chores? We're getting we're, there. We're trying now. Over the last few months, I've been much more dishes and sink, don't leave the kid, you know. And while we're on the subject, the alcohol wipes. The alcohol just, wipes, the whole alcohol wipes. They're amazing for yeah. cleaning all sorts of things. You would not believe how <laughs> Helpful, they come in my life and I use them all the time. Thank you so no, much for inventing them. Amazing. guys deal with your kids getting bullied? Mm. Mm. We sort of had question. that. The truth is, it's very hard because, you know, as a parent, you just get so upset. But then Raj and I started to think like, something is maybe not okay. Like maybe this child, something's really wrong. Do you know what I mean? And you start to sort of like feel bad because the truth is a lot of times their behavior is coming from someplace, some, someplace right? and maybe they're in pain. I don't wanna speak for Roger, but what I would do is every night, I had to sort of 
pull bring it, it out. bring it out. We assume that the parents were so hyper aware and they really, they just Or no they're idea. denying it, who knows? So I think the best way to do it is, you, I, I think you have to tell the parents. It is a tricky you one. You gotta tell the parents, you know? I think the parents have to understand. I would wanna know. We definitely have had to deal with bullying. I remember even like baby class. And I was like, you know, it is good that she sees that someone's gonna just like rip something out of her hands and kind of like knock her over. Cause I want her to understand how to sort of like defend herself, even though I wanted to throw that kid across the room and that kid's parent. And then as Honor got older, I was like, Honor, you, if someone hits you or, or you gotta hit them back, hit them hard enough that they're not gonna wanna do it again. <laughs> and we'll all deal with the teacher. And yeah. so we got to then have a lesson with Honor about how people who are hurting inside, they are usually the ones who are displaying this type of behavior. They're acting out. Yeah. Oh, well, so there we go. That was so... very honest. Honest, oh, uh, yeah. parent, we getting love honest. honest with Rachel and Raj parenting <laughs> Thank edition. You. Yes. We love Next you guys. Next one in person. We miss you. Yes. We love you. Next yes. one in person. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this Getting Honest Parenting Edition with Rachel and Raj and my awesome co star, Hubby. I feel like you should do these with me more often. Cash, don't you think this would be a really good idea? I love being on YouTube in my show for parenting. <clears throat> <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and let me know in the comments below what other types of videos you would like me to do with other parents that are out there. What questions do you have? Who should I reach out to? And should Cash be in more videos with me? <laughs> All right, peace, hearts. I found it honest because as a new parent, I became conscious of things I never had to think about before. Suddenly, I became blowout conscious, more comfort conscious, but also mother nature conscious. It's why we at Honest designed the new clean conscious diaper, mindful of your babe's delicate skin and the environment. So you can be more adventure conscious, in the moment conscious, and of course, more clean conscious.